Maccabi Haifa vs PSG result, Messi, Mbappe, Neymar combined for first time ever in a Champions League match. The hosts started brightly in Israel, troubling PSG throughout a frenetic first 45 minutes, but it was not to be as PSG outclassed Maccabi Haifa in a 3-1 win to stay perfect through two Champions League group stage games. It marks the first time ever that Lionel Messi, Kylian Mbappe, and Neymar all found the back of the net in the same Champions League match. That proved too much for Maccabi Haifa, whose spirited first half simply ran out of gas. Jaron Cherry put Haifa in front before the half-hour mark, sending a boisterous Sammy Ofer Stadium into a frenzy, and leaving PSG shockingly down a goal. Haifa goalkeeper Josh Cohen stood tall on a number of occasions to protect the early lead, but would eventually succumb to one of the greatest players of all time. Messi found PSG's equalizer on 37 minutes, receiving great service from a shifty Mbappe, giving PSG something to savor after an otherwise shaky first half that saw the hosts run PSG ragged. After the break, PSG eventually wore Haifa down with pure class and skill. Mbappe would find PSG's second on a great vertical ball by Messi, and Neymar put the game away late after latching onto a long ball from Marco Verratti. The overall performance from Haifa especially in the first half, deserves plaudits as they troubled one of the world's best teams for the full 45 minutes, but they just couldn't keep up the tempo all game, succumbing to a supremely talented squad. We all know that PSG, on paper, have one of the best teams in the world. They've proven as much time and time again, doing so on yet another occasion today in Israel. Mbappe, Messi and Neymar are an unstoppable force up front. Still. It does feel like PSG are beating teams on talent instead of on cohesion, chemistry, or tactics. The Parisians were second best through significant periods in both their Champions League matches to date. Against Juventus, they took an early 2-0 lead before crumbling late and barely hanging on, while today they were troubled consistently through the first half by Maccabi Haifa. Surely at some point, if this continues, a better team like Manchester City, Real Madrid, or Bayern Munich will put PSG to the sword during these spells of trouble, and the Parisians won't be able to simply flex their muscles and come out in front after 90 minutes. It was a spectacular performance from the hosts tonight in every facet of the game. Maccabi Haifa were not afraid to venture forward, holding long spells of possession and forcing PSG to defend in earnest. They attacked the PSG penalty area and put the visiting defenders under pressure. At the other end, the defense played bravely throwing their bodies in front of shots and remaining tactically organized. They didn't back down from 50-50 challenges, and often bested PSG in the air. The goalkeeper stood tall on a number of occasions, only beaten when the defensive line broke down in full. Even the crowd mightily impressed, singing in full voice for the entire 90 minutes, even when PSG scored and celebrated in their faces. A performance the entire Haifa community can be proud of, even in defeat. For some reason, the official is having a VAR check, and is completely surrounded by the PSG players. Neymar is booked in the aftermath, and replay shows it's for a rude celebration, mocking the Haifa players or supporters with an gesture. Silly from the Brazilian, who's withdrawn by Galter almost immediately. Their eye clips an opponent at the top of the PSG penalty area, and this is a dangerous set piece for the hosts. Imagine if this finds the back of the net? Sammy Ofer Stadium would explode. It'll be Cherry, the Haifa goal scorer, to take the free kick with his left, with Hazisa also standing over it. Hazisa departs, so it's Cherry's to take, he hits it well but it goes a few feet over the crossbar. 83rd minute, well, we knew this game couldn't keep up the pace for a full 90 minutes. It's all gotten a bit messy now. Mbops fouled in midfield and PSG will kill some more time, as Akraf Hakimi comes on in place of Mukiel, who's upset with being withdrawn. Maccabi Haifa appeared to be running out of steam. 75th minute, Mark Winhos goes down emphatically after Piero technically puts a hand on the Brazilian's face. Yellow card for the Haifa striker. It's all a bit soft, really. 72nd minute, the game has opened up a bit since the goal. There's more action in the Haifa 18-yard box, with Mbappe and Messi continuing to probe, but the home defenders are there to clear. PSG will bring Vitinha off with Fabian Ruiz entering the pitch. Haifa counter bringing Dan David on for Atsili. 69th minute, goal. PSG. Stop us if you've heard this before, 
Kylian Mbappe scores after being sent free by Lionel Messi. A vertical ball from Messi breaks the Maccabi Haifa backline, and Mbappe is clean through after getting by sack. The French superstar makes no mistake, finding the gap between a diving Cohen and the far post.